Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with the first edition of Math Behind the Modules for Math 8. Okay, so here we are, lesson one, the beginning of a new year, exponential notation. Okay, so the classwork here says that 5 to the power of 6 means that it's 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. There are six fives here. The number of times we multiply is our exponent. And then we have a fraction in parentheses that says 9 over 7. The whole thing taken to the power of 4 means to multiply it by itself four times. So it means 9 sevenths times, 9 sevenths times, 9 sevenths times, 9 sevenths. Now, if we were going to solve that, I'll just continue this. 9 times 9 is 81. 81 times 9, 729. And then multiply that by 9. Can't do that in my head. 81, 18, 26, carry the 2. 9 times 7 is 63, and 2 is 65. So my 9 to the 4th power is 6,561. Now let me just do something here. Okay, so... I'm just going to check this again. So it's 9 to the power of 4, enter, and it is 6,561. And then if we go back and do 7 to the 4th power, 7 to the power of 4, that is 2,401. Okay, so that would be our answer unless it reduced. So in a calculator, We'd have to put the parentheses just like they did there. 9 divided by 7 to the power of 4. And hit enter. And hit math, enter, enter. And it is the same fraction we have here. All right. So the reason I'm showing you this is the calculator only does what you ask it to do. So if you put this in as 9 sevenths, to the power of 4 like this without these parentheses here if you did not have those parentheses that means 9 to the 4th power divided by 7 so it would be 6,561 to the power of 7 so let's take a look so if I hit enter now I get this small decimal and if I change it to a fraction I definitely get the oh it multiplied the bottom that's right the bottom to the 4th power so it would be 9 over 2401. So it was this 9 didn't get taken to the power, just the 7 did. So it's definitely not the same as you can see. 6,561 over 2,401 is not the same as 9 over 2,401. So the parentheses force us to take our exponent and distribute it to both the numerator and the denominator. Okay? All right, so I'm doing a lot of scribbling around here. Let me clean this up. Change colors. Okay, so it says you have seen this kind of notation before. It's called exponential notation. In general, for any number x and any positive integer n, x being our base to the power of n equals x times x times x as many times as n says. The number x to the n is called x raised to the nth power, where n is the exponent of x in x to the n, and x is the base of x to the n. Okay, so there are no examples in this lesson. It's a quick, short lesson, way to ease ourselves back into the school year. Um, but it's giving you exercises. So what I would suggest you do is pause the video and see if you can do these on your own unpause the video, come back, and I will work them out, okay? All right, here we go. So four times dot, dot, dot times four equals, and it said seven times, that would be the base is four to the power of seven. This is seven over two. Well, let's go in order, exercise two. Exercise two says 3.6 times dot, dot, dot times 3.6 equals 3.6 to the 47th. This is our power. That's how many times we multiply. So that is going to be 47. Exercise 3. 
negative 11.63 times itself over and over and over 34 times and it would come out to be negative 11.63 to the power of 34. Make sure you have these parentheses because if you don't then a negative taken to an even power is going to make this a positive solution and I will show you that with the calculator. So if I take negative 11.63 raised to the power of 34, I'm going to get a positive number. And that is scientific notation, so it's a really big number. Moving this decimal 36 places to the right would give us a number really big, but it's positive. And it's because of these parentheses. Now if I did that again without the parentheses, then we're going to get a negative here. Same number, just it's negative. And the reason is, if we do not have the parentheses, the calculator knows PEMDAS, so order of operations. So if I have 11.63 to the 34th power without the parentheses, then it's going to do exponents first, PEMDAS. Parentheses, exponent, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Okay? Well, we don't have parentheses in this situation, where in this one we do. So in parentheses, what it's telling you to do is to take this power to what's inside. So it's negative 11.63 times itself 34 times. This one, the negative is out in front. So it says to do the exponent first and then multiply second. And you're saying multiply by what? Well, that would be the same as negative 1 times 63 to the 34th power. So when I do 63 to the 34th power, I'm going to get that really big number, and then we're going to multiply by negative 1 and make it negative. So these parentheses prevent this from happening. Hopefully that makes sense. Order of operations. Okay, number 4. 12 times 12 times 12 times 12 to the 15th power means we multiplied 12 by itself 15 times. Exercise 5, we have the negative 5, make sure it is in parentheses, and 10 times mean that is, means that is our exponent. This is a fraction, remember I cannot just do this. That means 21, or 7 to the 21st power, but not the 2. So I have to put parentheses around this, which would be the same as saying 7 to the 21st power over 2 to the 21st power, because we are distributing the exponent, okay, the distributive property. Okay, so this would be my answer after distributing. But in this situation here, I guess all you would have to write is the parentheses 7 over 2 to the power of 21. This one is negative 13. It's negative, so please make sure it stays in the parentheses. And then it's to the power of 6. This one is negative 1 over 14. And we're going to raise that to the 10th power. And then finally, this is just base x to the 185th power. This is x times x times x times x times x equals x to the n, meaning we don't know how many times, just some number n. So that's n times we're going to multiply by x. Okay, so on the next page you'll see that there are more exercises, no examples. So again, this is trying to see if you remember some of the concepts about exponents from last year. Um, will these products be positive or negative? How do you know? So we have a negative 1 to the 12th power. So if you want to answer these questions without my input, pause the video. There are four of them. Pause the video, come back, and I will do them after you return. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this is negative 1 to the 12th power. If you take a negative to an even power, it is going to become positive. Okay, how do you know? Well, it's negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. There's 4. Let me change colors just to keep track of how many times I'm doing this. There's 8, okay, 
So negative 1 to the 12th power means negative 1 times itself 12 times. Well, if I take a negative times a negative, I get a positive 1. A negative times a negative is positive 1. A negative times a negative is positive, and 1 times 1 is 1, and so on. So now I can take each pair of negatives and make them 1 positive. Okay. So now I'm down to positive 1 times 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 positive 1. Well, we all know that a positive times a positive is positive, so this is going to end up as being a positive result. Okay, now negative 1 to the 13th. I'm going to use this same diagram up here. They just changed the 12 to 13. They added one more exponent here. So I'm going to add one more 1 or one more negative 1. So now I've got that negative 1 hanging out there, and it's all by itself. I haven't multiplied it yet, so I'm going to bring it down here, and it's going to stay negative 1. So this is going to be positive 1 times 1 is 1, 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 times negative 1. So now really all we're going to do, because all these 1's multiplied by themselves, will give us this 1 up here, and a negative 1 times a positive 1 will give us a negative number. So the answer here would be negative 1. And here's the reason. So if you have an odd number of negatives, it will stay negative. If you have an even number of negatives, it will become positive. So here's 12. Is it necessary to do all of the calculations to determine the sign of the product? Why or why not? And I would say no. It is not necessary to do all the calculations. I'm just going to save time here, but you'll learn since you're new to this. Well, actually, no, you're not new to this. You did this last year. Answer in complete sentences, unless you're new to the school, and then you'll be new to the um, curriculum here that requires us to answer in complete sentences. So you should say, no, it is not necessary to do all the calculations to determine the sign of the product. A negative to an odd power will give us a negative. And now let's check that. So I'm going to take let me clear this, start fresh. I'm going to take this negative 5 to the power of 95. And it should come out to be a negative number. And sure enough, it is negative 2, and it's a really big number because it's, it's a scientific notation moving this decimal 66 places to the right, so it's a huge number. But it is negative. Okay, now we have a negative to an even power. That is going to become positive. And I will show you that that is definitely true. So if I take negative 1.8 times, not times, close parentheses, to the power of 122, then I'm going to get a positive. 1.39 to the times 10 to the power of 31 is what that really means. Okay? So that is... No, it's not done yet. There is another exercise. Fill in the blank, number 13. Fill in the blanks indicating whether the number is positive or negative. If n is a positive even number, then negative 55 to some positive number even is positive. If n is a positive odd number, like 3, then negative 72.4 to the power of 3, a positive odd number, is going to end up being negative. Exercise 14. Josie says that negative 15 six times, in other words, negative 15 to the power of 6, is what that means. Is she correct? And the answer is... Trick question. The answer is... No, because negative 15 to the 6th power equals, okay, now watch what I'm doing here, negative 15 to the power of 6 equals negative 11390625. Okay. But 
negative 15 in parentheses to the 6th power is 11390625. One, one, Eleven million three hundred ninety thousand six hundred and twenty five. Okay. Because this negative number taken to an even power will become positive. This number here is fifteen to the sixth power times a negative one. So the answer is no. Trick question, don't forget your parentheses. Okay, that is the end of lesson one. Go do your problem set.